I didn't come on or listen to the uh, session on this band last night. I was watching uh, the documentary on the uh, disappearance of uh, Donald Mackay or Mackay in Griffith some years ago. Well, quite some years ago. A quick video describing a simple S-meter circuit. I've added it to my Bitex derived HF transceiver. It was originally described in Radio Projects for the Amateur by Drew Diamond VK3XU as part of another receiver. As well as driving a meter movement, the circuit could also operate as an AGC, providing a voltage that is higher when the signal is weak and lower when the signal is strong. That point could then control an IF or audio amplifier circuit to achieve a more constant output from the speaker. In my case though, I'm not using it. I'm just using it to drive the meter movement. Having a closer look at the circuit, the core of it is an LM386 amp. Most common in the audio stages for receivers. As you've previously seen, unless you really push for space, it's better to use discrete transistors for an audio amplifier and relegate the LM386 to something like an AGC amplifier. Anyway, I've got the signal coming from the speaker. That's not ideal because when you adjust the volume control, you also adjust the reading on the S meter. If you wanted to avoid that, you'd have to have a audio preamp before the diodes that you see here. If you did that, then the reading on the S meter would be independent of the setting of your volume control. This is what I've done. The signal comes through a pair of germanium diodes, labelled here as RA95, but they could be anything that you'd use in a crystal set. Then there's a silicon diode, one in 4148. The input of that goes to an LM386, which operates as a DC amplifier. The values here are slightly different to those described in the reference. They just suit what I had available. A 1 milliamp meter was specified, but I used 50 microamp with an 82 ohm resistor across it. I used whatever resistor value was needed to provide full scale deflection on a strong incoming signal. The 1K resistor is a trim pot. That's used to set the meter needle reading to zero. If you adjust it one way, it goes backwards, and the other way, it goes forward. You want it to be on zero when there's no signal being received. So you do that setting when the antenna is not connected to the receiver. That's a quick summary of the circuit. An LM386 used as a DC amplifier to drive a meter movement. It's ideal if you've got a homebrew receiver or similar that needs a bit of action on the front panel and you've got a spare meter movement to donate to the project. Christmas 
Hi, um, not, so, not as mellow as the other one over. Uh, it, it actually sounds really good on the radio so far, so I'm, I'm quite happy with it. We'll just have to work on it. No worries at all. Okay, well, you want me to give you a 30 second over? Uh, 80 metres, a little bit thin on the bank, and you can put, uh, hopefully getting some recording. One, two, three, four, five, once I've caught official live. VK3 Kilo, Tango, Tango. Victor Kilo 3 Kilo, Tango, Tango. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hello, audio testing. Okay, that should be enough. Thank you very much, Adam, for creating this for me. VK2 PW, VK3 Kilo, Tango, Tango. Over. An unexpected bonus is that if you've got the supply rail on with both transmit and receive, then the meter will pick up a bit of stray RF and operate as a relative output indicator on transmit. That's handy if you didn't want to do anything else with the meter for transmit. Oh, 